Thank you for joining us today. Today we're going to go over a feature in WebEx Calling that's available now called Voicemail Group. Some other folks might know it as a group mailbox. So we have this feature now in WebEx Calling and we can configure it of course in Control Hub. We're going to go ahead and go into Control Hub and we're going to go down to the calling area in Control Hub and find this feature so we can configure it. So we got our Control Hub up and we'll go ahead and go down to calling and then we will of course head over to features and in the features section all the way to the right we have voicemail group. We have none created yet so far so we're going to go ahead and head down to the blue button and we'll go ahead and start and create our voicemail group. We now have some specific information that we need to supply. Of course the first thing is our location. I'm going to go ahead and choose this location here. I want to name this voicemail group. This one is going to be for my IT help desk. So I'm going to go ahead and put in IT help desk here. And then the phone number area, we have two options. Of course, we can use the predefined numbers that are in our platform and assign a direct number to come in or an extension. I'm going to use the extension here. Secondarily, caller ID is, is what is used if we make a call from this, like we choose the option zero out. So we're going to go ahead and name this also uh, IT help desk. So we'll put a couple letters here in the first name and the rest in the last name. And then we need to create the passcode, of course, following the same uh, requirements as our site around passcode creation. We'll click the next button. Now we need to select a language, which we'll use English. We have two options around storage. Internal mailbox is just like a regular mailbox. If we use external mailbox, of course, we will then be sending it externally. We need to choose a message notification features, uh, also fax messaging if this is, and then we can use the settings area to choose if we want to do a zero out and we could put an extension or email a copy of the message. So let's click next here. We now review our settings. Uh, we of course have our general settings and our voicemail settings. This will go over what we had looked at on the previous two pages, make sure we're happy with it. Once we're completely satisfied with our information, we can click the create button. It's just as easy as that. We've now created a voicemail group. It is set up in the system and it is live. So we can dial in with the pin, of course, do all the setup features, and it will distribute as we see fit. As always, if you need help, head on over to help.webex.com or callinghelp.webex.com. Have a great day.